Nigel Farage, second place, um, third place the BMP, fourth respect. Was this how you saw it? Yeah, very much so. Uh, in fact, what happened today was there were two elections. One was the election that took place today. The other was the postal vote election. The postal votes here were nearly 50% of all the votes cast. Um, and that was where Labour had the massive majority. Actually, here on the day, UKIP were in many of these wards absolutely neck and neck with you, the Labour Party. You were still quite a distant second on a 33% turnout. You expected to do better. Well, uh, you know, our previous best ever by-election result was a fortnight ago, which was 14.3%, and this one is comfortably over 20%. Whichever way you look at it, UKIP is on the rise. Do you think this row over fostering, which increased your profile in the last few days of this by-election, do you think that, that that's what boosted your vote? I think it helped, um, because what it did was it, it put the focus on UKIP and on the other policies that we stand for as well. Um, so I think, I think that, you know, that definitely helped us, uh, but which, whichever way you, you know, cut it, uh, Jane Collins, excellent candidate, South Yorkshire, a strong area for UKIP. Uh, first past the post, never easy, uh, but the thing we've really got to put our minds to is how we deal with this postal voting problem. Labour relaxed all the rules on postal voting and to a certain extent have got many of these northern towns stitched up. In a sense, though, because you've come this distant second and you're now talking about postal votes, which is part of democracy, sour grapes, maybe? No. A concern that there is a large element of the UK electoral system that is open to fraud. We need to look at it. Now, uh, the thing that was out there on the street, you were talking about, about trust in, 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 in Labour. Uh, you were talking about uh, this, this, this issue of the local Labour Council, in your opinion, being what you said, the, the, the loony left. But out on the streets, people were talking about jobs. They were talking about the economy. They were talking about whether they could, they could pay the gas bill. It looks as though the issues weren't your issues at all. Well, I tell you what, there's no issue bigger than jobs for us because we're the only party saying there should not be an open door to the whole of Eastern Europe at a time of 21% youth unemployment. People are worried about their bills. You know, we're putting wind turbines up all over Yorkshire. Um, who pays the bills? People live, living in towns like Rotherham by paying a 15% surcharge on their, on their electricity bills. UKIP's issues are connecting more and more with people. OK, Labour have always had Rotherham. You know, they're in a big safe position. They've got the postal vote tucked up. But we've come a very big, strong second here. You clearly targeted Rotherham. You're here tonight in, in Rotherham. What do you think is going to happen in the, in, in the other by-elections? We've got two more. Well, what's your forecast there? Well, in Middlesbrough, it's looking as though UKIP will come second in Middlesbrough as well. And what we're seeing is a very clear pattern. Across the north of England, we are beginning to become the party of opposition in the north of England. But is that really true? You can target these by-elections. You can put in your, your relatively meagre resources. I understand there's only about 19,000 members of UKIP across the, the whole country. So you can target by-elections. But when it comes to general elections, you're not really making that much headway. You haven't won well, a seat. Well, you know, in the European elections, um, in cities like Hull, we came first. In the local elections last year in Sheffield, we got more votes than the Conservatives. Uh, we've just performed credibly well in the police commissioner elections. Uh, you know, the general election, two and a half years ago, UKIP scored 3% of the vote. The last opinion poll put us on 11% of the vote nationally. You're looking at a very different party and a very confident party. But for, for, for the last several years, I've interviewed you after numerous elections, by-elections in Barnsley, by-elections in, in Bradford, you've always forecast that UKIP will soon get a member of Parliament. You haven't got one yet. You haven't even got um, a, uh, a, a councillor anywhere well, across Yorkshire. When I spoke to you after Barnsley, I said UKIP would grow. Barnsley was nearly 13%. Tonight is 21.6%. I think you have to agree, Len, that is significant progress.